Hello. Um, you know, it actually snowed a little bit here. I took a little bit of video and a picture, but um, now today it looks like it did nothing. The snow didn't, I mean, we didn't get as much as they thought we would, which is okay, you know, but I did film a little bit. I'll show you that. But um, today is Valentine's Day and I want to say happy Valentine's. Um, I wanted to give some little facts about Valentine's Day, okay? So, in history, it's believed that it uh, might have been started with a pagan ritual, but then that was outlawed because um, it was kind of brutal. Then they say that um, Valentine's Day was named as a Saint Valentine, and he was a priest. And he's considered um, special because he was helping young soldiers to get married because it was illegal for them to get married. Um, but he helped them anyway. And I found out that there might have been a second Valentine that lived not far from him that supposedly they say it was also named after him because he helped Christians escape from prisons. So I didn't realize there was two Valentines possibly. Some say they were the same person. So <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't there. Another thing I wanted to say is um, where Cupid came from. Cupid came from the Romans. And supposedly they they um, adopted him from the Greek god Eros. Because Eros is a god of love. And in the 1300s, it became a holiday associated with love. And the first Valentine was said to be sent in the 15th century by a man who was in prison to his wife. Giving of flowers actually came from the 17th century when King Charles II of Sweden um, learned the language of flowers, meaning that each flower has a different meaning. So he was on a trip and when he came back to Europe, he introduced it and people liked it. <laughs> then, I like this one, in 1861, Cadbury founder John Cadbury decided to start um, selling his chocolates in heart-shaped boxes to put a rise on sales. And it definitely worked because it's still around today. <laughs> and this one I like because in other countries, it just doesn't focus on couples. I know Valentine's Day is always associated with a couple, but in other countries, it's associated with showing gratitude to your friends, to people you love. And <clears throat> that's kind of what I wanted to say today. Because I know sometimes people get upset they don't have a Valentine. They say they don't have a significant other. And that's okay. You know, um, in my opinion at least, I always see Valentine's as just a day of love. And it's a day of love for friends and family. And on Valentine's Day, I do give Valentine's to my family. And I give them also sometimes to friends. And I got Willow a little stuffed toy today for Valentine's Day. So Valentine's Day, I think, is about just love. Love itself. And I do hope you're happy today. And if you feel that you need a little bit more, treat yourself to something. Go out, have a nice lunch, have a nice dinner. Um, maybe if you don't want to go out because I have been a stay-home body very much lately. I like to just sit in front of the TV, have some hot cocoa, and watch some movies that I enjoy. So, and that is very relaxing, and that is fun. So, um, because I know sometimes today, and many days in life, can be very difficult. I know that, <laughs> okay? <laughs> and it's very easy to give up hope, hope for anything. But I want you to know, don't, never give up hope. Hope keeps you going. And I do hope that today you will be happy and you will find something that makes you happy. And most of all, that you're gonna be kind, being kind to yourself and to those around you. Everybody needs kindness. So please enjoy your day today and know that I think you all deserve happiness. Okay? Love is for all. And I hope to talk to you soon. Bye. Say bye.